All right, so if you're having issues installing programs from outside of the Microsoft App Store, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, so here you can see if I try and download this printer um, program. Okay. Computer's kind of slow, but we'll wait for it. Okay, and here you see it says this thing, you can change my app recommendation settings, but this doesn't work. Microsoft is trying to screw people over and make them, force them to use their apps only um, as a way to kind of make money off the app store and also so they can control what apps you put on your computer. They're trying to get people to not be able to get the free versions anymore or the apps that they've had all their t all their life they're trying to get people to use the um, store version so here you can see they don't have the any way to do that you just see the installed apps normally there's an apps uh, store thing but it doesn't have that so what we're going to do is we're gonna go to the start menu you can press the start uh, button on your keyboard the flag or the flag down here and we're gonna type in switch out of s mode you can see it right there oops Okay, so you can see there's that switch out of S mode. We're going to go in there. Okay, and then here you can see this uh, activation state. It's active, and you see S mode here. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to press this little down arrow thing. You can see it says upgrades aren't available in S mode to upgrade exit S mode. So basically, we want to get out of S mode. So here you can see to install apps that aren't verified by the Microsoft Store. Uh, and to get Windows upgrades, go to the store and exit S mode. So this change is permanent, so keep that in mind. Um, but unless you want to use your thing like a stupid tablet um, and not like a PC, then I don't see why anyone want to use this S mode thing. All right, so we're going to click Open Store. And it should give you the, um, like, remove S mode or whatever. Switch out of S mode here. Okay, and we're just going to say Get. So we're going to click get here and it makes you sign into a Microsoft account. I don't know why it's stupid, but uh, there you go. Okay. And you got to type in your password. I hope I got this right because this is a customer's computer and I don't know. It says something went wrong, but uh, this is normally how you would do it. I don't know. His Microsoft account isn't working. So... Let's see, maybe I have to remove his account and then add it back or something. I don't know why it doesn't want to work. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm putting the right password and it says there's a problem with it. Um, and then it says sign in to account.live.com from a browser. So I guess I'll try that. I hope I typed it wrong. I don't know if it was accounts or account dot live. Okay, so we're gonna try signing in. Um, your account has been locked. We detected some. Uh, okay, that's weird. So I don't know why their account got locked. Um, okay, so give me a second because I have to um, get the code from the customer. The problem is I don't think they have a cell, cell phone that accepts text messages. So they're not going to be able to get a code, um, but it says they'll send a code in a text message so they don't get spam. And yeah, so there's no way for them to do this. I don't know how they can do it. They have a random, they have a phone number here. I don't know if that's the right one, but uh, I don't know what to do. If you don't have a phone number with text messages, there's no way you can do this. So I'm going to have to speak with the customer and let them know. I'm going to try and do a local account, but I think it still needs an email, so I don't know how they're going to do this. Anyways, um, that's how you would do it. If you still can't get it to work, uh, let me know, but switching out of S mode should fix that problem. Uh, once you switch out of S mode, if you still can't, you might have to go to the apps and then uh, in the settings, and then there will probably be the apps and features, and then you can change it to um, let you install those. So... I don't know. Let me see. So here's what it tells you what S mode is and all of that. But it's crazy. They require you to have a Microsoft account to do this? Are you kidding? Okay. Um, I don't know what their email was.
Okay, let's try it again. I don't think this is going to work. Oops. <sighs> yeah, something's wrong. Their account got screwed up. So they probably have to create another Microsoft account. Um, but yeah, for now, that's it. I'll be back once I figure this out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Apparently you can use any phone number, so I used my own phone number to do it. Um, it just wants to make sure you're a human with an actual phone number that you can text back. So here you go, okay, I guess we'll continue here. And we'll see, hopefully that fixed it. I don't know. Okay, I hope that fixed it. We're gonna close this and let's see if it'll let me get this now. Try this again, continue. Let's see if it works. Okay, I think it's going because it didn't pop up a message to complain now and the get is grayed out. And let's see now, okay, we're gonna click get again or is it already going? I don't know. Okay, it says it's working on it. Hopefully this is going to fix it. It says you're all set. Okay, switched out of S mode. So now we can install apps that are from outside. Okay, no, I don't want the cafe junk. All right, anyways, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna try and open that download again and see if it worked because it wasn't working before. So let's see what happens. Please work. Oh, and now it's working. All right, so we didn't have to go to the apps and features thing. Um, let's see here. Oops. So let's see what happens if I go in the settings. Does it have that apps and features thing that, no, it doesn't. So it automatically will change to allow you to install the apps. There's no way to turn that off. So once you change that setting, it looks like, um, yeah, like it said, you're permanently in that mode. So now it's going to let me install. All right, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, um, if, if you can't do that, uh, if you can watch a few of my other videos because that tells YouTube to recommend my channel to others. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Bye.